So uh, Maya Angelou is important uh, to Americans. She's a U.S. treasure. But as somebody who uh, labored in the, um, uh, in the foxhole uh, in uh, Ghana, in South Africa, in Egypt, throughout Sub-Saharan Africa, for all those who hunger and thirst for righteousness' sake, we had to pay tribute to all of that. Well, you know, I'm, um, uh, I'm, I'm blessed to be a child of immigrants, and my family came to the United States not knowing the language, not knowing the traditions. My parents didn't have a, you know, a job, and they had to make their way in very difficult circumstances. And when I first read Maya as a child, and I read about her struggle to find her voice, to locate herself in the universe, just appealed to me uh, right away, and I held on to her as my little secret. And every now and then, when I had difficult moments, I would turn to her writing, turn to uh, her uh, language and her audacity, uh, and use it as a strength. When she passed away in May of last year, it was remarkable to me when I was asked to uh, conduct interviews here in South Africa, and there was just this tremendous outpouring from South Africans of a certain age who had, uh, who for them, there was this immediacy to, uh, to the loss. It was as if a family member had uh, departed, and I remembered and, and recognized that uh, there's an affinity here and a connection here. Uh, that's really, really profound and deserve to somehow be uh, commemorated. You know, I, I want people to take away uh, several things. One, I want them to remember that this incredible spirit uh, walked the earth and left these treasures uh, for us. But I also want them to reflect on what that legacy ought to mean going forward. Maya Angelou is somebody who was uh, deeply committed to the notion of the diaspora. Uh, and uh, the responsibility and the obligations that we have towards one another. Uh, and I don't want us to just talk about that stuff in a nostalgic way, but to think about how we strengthen our partnerships, strengthen this bilateral relationship between the U.S. Uh, and South Africa, uh, and use it uh, to grow from strength to strength. Tonight's performance for me was a coming home. It, it was reminding us of the importance of Maya Angelou, a role in the world, her role in Africa, her role in the market theatre, her role in what we do today, and also her role in what we want it to be for us, to be our ancestor as we forge ahead and making sure that South Africa and the continent remains a vibrant place. The girl child, the boy child continues to grow with equal opportunity and also a successful and bright future of peace and prosperity. What I want them to know, I want them to know that this is a platform, it's a creative space, it's a space that needs to be impacted, it's a space that needs you to come come in and learn from. It's a space that is bigger than you, but your contribution in it is timeless. It's a space that has liberated a nation. It is a space which all of us as society, all of us as communities, we need in order to birth a new future. It's a space that we want them to engage with, beyond us, with us, and to eternity.